What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is your boy, Awaken Toast here, and today, welcome back to some more Ghost of Tabor here on the channel. And today, I'm kind of like jumping into the future because a lot of the time, I have these episodes planned out for like each and every raid that we do. But for this one in particular, this is actually going to be a video covering the recent update that added a brand new weapon into the game. And many of you guys watching this video are probably wondering, what weapon am I actually referring to? Well, recently in this last patch, we got a brand new weapon known as the Bar added within the game, which honestly, anytime that I hear about the bar, I literally just think of like Call of Duty Zombies. I don't know if anyone else out there is like a huge COD Zombies fan, but anytime I see that weapon, the Tommy gun, any of that dude, the first thing that comes to mind is literally thinking of Call of Duty Zombies. So the plan today, what I'm actually thinking is I'm going to go and hop over to the Tabor Market, go and buy the bar, probably get a few extra ones just in case, and we're going to try and do some island runs because I know a lot of you guys have been itching to see some more gameplay on the island, and this feels like a weapon that would work really well for some like long range fighting and also even like close range engagements. No, bro. If you guys do end up enjoying this video, would like to see more content made on some more Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that mother thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new so you guys can stay up to date with all of your content we post. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's about time we go and make our way over to the Tabor Marquette. And let's go and buy this freaking weapon, man. I haven't seen anyone using this gun yet. I also have never even tried it. So I'm really curious to see how it feels. I'm hoping, like, my point to fire compared to iron sighting is still going to feel pretty decent with the weapon. But honestly, it's all going to be something that we got to figure out over time. So let's go over to Assault Rifle. And let's go and buy this bar. Wait, so I guess it's not an Assault Rifle. So maybe it's under LMGs? Oh, heck yes it is. And check this bad boy out. It literally looks like just as I remember it in freaking World at War, man. This thing is a beaut. Holy. Okay, I'm actually really excited to use this. Let's go and throw a mag on this bad boy too as we go and scan it. So let's go to LMG mag. This is going to make this so easy because all I have to do is literally just click on the LMG option and there's only one weapon that's actually here. Oh, well, let's go and grab that magazine, scan that bad boy. And how much does that cost? Okay, 700 for a magazine. That ain't too bad. I was thinking it said 7,000, and I was like, there is no way I'm going to be spending that much money on a freaking bar, bro. I was like, there is no shot I'm ever going to spend that much money on that. But I am just freaking stoked to go and try something new in the game, man. And also, I'm sure a lot of you guys might see that I have a good amount of money that will be explained coming in, like, the future videos. But just so you guys know, I have been working my absolute tail off to try to grind my money. I've been trying to go and grind gear. I've been trying to do so many things. And it's, like, it's hard to go and cover an update video like this, like, covering a new weapon, without, like, spoiling what's already happened. So I'm trying my best to, like, not show, like, what else I've actually done in between, like, in between these videos. But honestly, in the same way you guys are probably going to figure out regardless so without further ado ladies and gentlemen let's go and dive into our first raid of the day we're going to go and rock out some missile silo man i want to try and use this bar and see if we can potentially get a good amount of player kills using this weapon man because this would be an incredibly fun weapon to go and get some gameplay with considering the fact it's completely new so this is going to be like the first time i'm ever using it first impressions i'm going to hope to god that we can at least do some work within our, like, our home of Missile Silo. Because this is our map, man. Island Tabor, don't get me wrong, at least you can see. But the biggest part is, is, like, this map just works for me, man. There's something about it, like, Missile Silo's flow, it's super small and, like, fast-paced. It just works, dude. It is so good. Um, ooh, and we got a decent helmet off the start here, too. Okay. Not, like, amazing, but it's decent. It's a, it's a helmet. You know, you can't go wrong with that. And also, hopefully you guys have been enjoying the recent gameplay switching over to add like a little bit more light in this because i know a lot of you guys were complaining about the fact that it was hard to see and I, I totally get it like looking on like phone gameplay it was near to impossible to actually see like inside of these tunnels so it's oh my gosh okay so we got a lot of shots on that other end we maybe go over there let's check it out i think they might have been near stairwell if i'm lucky we'll see though Otherwise, they might have been in garage, and I might just be completely misreading the situation. Okay, I think they were garage. Well, let's check it out. Let's see if we can actually get a flank on these dudes. This would be a really good opportunity to, too. Yep, he's in garage right now. There we 
we go. One down. Two down. Is there another another dude here that they were shooting at? Or was that just an AI? Okay, they lit me up though. Oh my god. I didn't realize they actually hit me that bad. Okay, he had a decent helmet on him too. What is this? AK? Oh nice. They had some decent gear on him. Okay, I'm gonna pop another one of these heels, because I need it. Desperately. I'm guessing they were probably farming AI. That's the most realistic thing. I'm guessing at least. I'm gonna go and pop over to this other room because I assume this is where they spawned. So maybe. Can I go and throw this other mag in here? Save this bad boy? We only brought in literally three mags, like extra. There we go, another one down. Perfect, is there another player? That's three guys, literally all teamed up in the same spot. Beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna go and try to make my way over to Squeaky and see if we can maybe find anyone over there too. Because this would be a great opportunity to go and use this bar. Okay, sounds like we got some more shots. So this is perfect, dude. It's actually a really good time to go and check this out. I assume they might be in bottom. So it might have been better for me to go and jump down, but... Whoa, what? Whoa, 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 what? What just happened? Okay, I think my game just glitched. I just mastered the art of teleportation. I just wasted a shell. Nice. Go with me. Okay. They might be on second level if I'm lucky. But I'm not too sure. We got three player kills using the bar, which is nice. At least I got some kills with it. I'm happy to know that this buying the bar wasn't a complete waste. Okay, I don't think I heard this other squeaky move yet. So we might have a chance to go and get the jump on these dudes. There we go. Two down. We'll grab some more heals just in case. Awesome. Take this other mag. I hear some more footsteps. Tons of them. AI, I assume. Oh, dude, this is a heavy, heavy freaking hitter. No joke. Oh, my God. Is he on this? Please tell me he's not on the stairwell yet. Hoping so. We'll see, though. Okay, here's some more footsteps. This might be players. Nope, definitely AI there. But we got one player down below. Nope, actually another AI. Perfect. Whoa, 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 whoa. What's your deal here? I guess the bar likes to make you launch. Don't know what the deal is with that. There we go, two down. Is there another dude here? There is, hello. I'm gonna snap his neck. There we go. Good stuff. Okay, we'll go and pop another heal. Drop this other mag. Okay, so I've realized that the bar is a little bit oofy sometimes. And by oofy, I mean like very goofy. Like, I get stuck in the wall every now and then. It like launches me. Oh, but we got a spoon. Okay, you know what? Maybe the bar isn't goofy. I'm sorry. I, I did not mean anything that I just said. The bar is amazing. Okay, it led me to this beautiful freaking spoon. And I cannot complain a single ounce about this. This is amazing. I'm a happy, happy man. Whatever I just said about the bar, disregard all statements. It is a pretty good freaking weapon though, like, no joke, the damage it actually outputs is really freaking nice. But the matter of like, I feel like it's just too long. Like, I can accidentally get caught on walls so easily. I think that's my, my least favorite part about the entire thing. But, obviously that's just me being picky because I, I like lighter weapons. I like stuff that's more of like SMG caliber compared to any assault rifles or ARs or, well, basically the same thing. Basically, I just like shorter weapons, preferably, because it's just easier to maneuver. You can run with, like, one hand and there's not, like, a ton of recoil. It's just, it's just nice overall, to be completely honest. I just really enjoy using them. But I'm hoping that we can maybe potentially find another guy here, because I heard, obviously, some more gunshots, but they weren't in second level, so they might be bottom in tunnels, but I don't know if they've already evac'd. That's the only problem, is they could have easily ran already, and I won't be able to find them for the rest of this raid, so... Either way, we still got a good amount of kills, though. So, like, I can't really be too saddened about this, because we've had a really good start to using the bar here, man. Like, this is awesome. Um, I'm not gonna keep the looty, because this thing is freaking pahooey. It is not good. The looty pahooey. Let's go and throw this other mag there, and... Grab some of those nails, or whatever that is. Nails, bolts, whatever you may be. We got it saved now. Ooh, you hear that? You hear that, boys? We got some other people that are still alive. You know what that means. 
We're gonna go pay them a little Vizzy Poo. Come on, man. If I could get, like, four or five player kills, this would be awesome. Only thing is, like, peeking corners is gonna be so bad with this. They're gonna see my gun before I even peek the corner. Okay. So I assume they're below. I gotta assume they're below. Right? I don't want to lose my spoon. I think they were below, man. I could take the risk and just run for it. I mean, we got the health. We might as well, dude. This could be really, really fun. I, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm just gonna run for it and see if we can find them. Oh, they're at Squeaky. Beautiful. I don't know if they're in it or they're just baiting it, but. Okay, so. Don't hear movement yet. I think they're closing it. I'll just wait it out, man. Might as well. Because I know he's in there. We could just play patient and just wait for this guy. There better not be another dude here. Because otherwise I'm screwed. <laughs> I'm literally just watching this door like an absolute savage, bro. <laughs> I'm not moving. He's literally just looting up as much as he can right now. This poor guy. He's going to open this door and just get blasted by the bar. Tick, tuck, tick, tuck. I really hope I don't just choke this, bro. I've literally been sitting here for like three minutes. 19 minutes left. Take your time, my man. Take your time. We got 19 minutes just to wait in here. He pulled out a pistol. He's reloading it. Peel that door open so I can just shred you. Please and thank you. Peek that door, baby. Do it. Peek that door. Peek it. You know you want to peek it. Do it, brother. Do it. Literally, just walk through that door already, please. Okay, he just loaded his backpack. There we go. And he's down, baby. Is there any other guys here? Nope, I think it was just him. Good stuff. All right, I am so sorry. Big fat dog? No, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to do it to you, big fat dog. Rest well, my son. May the power of the Christ compel you. All right, may the power of the Christ compel you. Wait, that also means sweet, dude. We got a new vest. And he actually had nearly the same loadout as I did. Nice. Okay, where did my... I need to make sure I have all my ammunition on here. So we'll grab this, which is only, I guess, one. That's all I really have. He had an AK on him. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Um, But he had a backpack full. I might just... I might just load this onto his... Because it makes more sense. You know what I mean? Like, I think it actually makes more sense to go and... Ooh. How do you get this mini Uzi in here? What? Bro, that is a packing job and a half. The fact that you fit that in there, that's crazy, dude. Good stuff. I mean, I'm not really a huge fan of how you loaded your weapons. Like, the weapons here feel a little bit awkward, the way that you loaded it. But, it gets the job done. Let's go and remove this other visor. Throw this one on, because that one's a lot better. Um, we literally just got rid of everything that was good in there. Oh my god. Like, actually, how did he load this mini Uzi? Oh, there we go. I got her. I got her. What was I talking about? How can you load it? I got her right there. We're golden. Okay, so we got just an energy drink in there, it looks like. I think I just loaded the... <laughs> I think I just loaded the Glock on accident. I guess that's a thing. Oh, AK. Uh-uh. Be a good boy. Be a good boy, AK. Thank you. Okay. Looks like he got mostly everything else looted in here. He's got, like, another helmet that we could use. The other backpack we really don't need. I will take the spoon, though. I can't believe I almost left that. Oh, my God. I would have never been able to live with myself if I would have forgotten that. I would have been so sad. I literally would have never forgave myself on this gameplay, bro. That would have been the number one biggest oopsie made by a YouTuber on Ghost of Tabor. No joke about it. Okay, we got another scope, it looks like. We got our nails. Okay, and then we'll throw the scope there. And we should be good to go. It feels a little bit weird to not be able to use, like, any scopes for this, though. Like, I literally have to iron sight this the entire time. Which, for the most part, I'm not even, like, iron sighting. I'm just, like, point firing, if that makes sense. Like, point firing, in my eyes, is basically when you kind of line up your shots based on, like, where your, like, shots are landing. And that's usually how I aim in, like, every VR game. Because one of the problems I have specifically in... Oh, this is a really good 
Really good loot haul. I think I might just go with what we got. I think that might be a good idea. So let's go and evac with this. But one of the things that is super nice about point firing is like if you get really comfortable with a lot of weapons with point firing, you can get like close range combat headshots like no other. It is so nice, man. But just like that, we managed to get, was it three or four player kills using the brand new bar within the game? Like that felt really solid. I was... I was super happy with that run, man. Only thing is, though, is I wish it would have been, like, an SMG that I was using, because I actually need to do that for a quest. <laughs> like, that would have been so nice. But, of course, this actually is classified as an LMG, so we're obviously not going to be getting anything towards our SMG kills there. But we got a freaking haul for a backpack, though. Holy crap. There is a lot of stuff in here. I kind of feel a little bit too lazy to go and throw this, or... Mm, I guess it's not that much. I, I really guess it's it's not too bad. I will go and sell these mags and stuff, though. We might as well. Like, I don't think we really need to keep it for anything, right? Um, let's go and throw this on. We'll throw that on. This on. That on. I do love my Glock mags, though. I do kind of feel bad for throwing those on, but... You know what? Every now and then, you gotta get rid of them. You gotta get rid of your freaking collection. So, let's go and sell this bad boy. We will sell... Ooh, we'll keep the Glocks, though. That is nice. Go and sell the other mags. Is there anything else that I can grab for magazines? I don't think so. I think the rest of it is stuff I can probably keep for the most part. Other than like RAM. Okay. All the other stuff I think I'll probably actually keep. Yeah, that sounds good. Perfect. So I guess that RAM doesn't want to move, but let's go and sell all these magazines, which we had a ton of Glock 17 ones. Then we got a Mac 10 magazine. We could sell the Mac 10 to Spectre for $3,000 and a hack tool. Bro, that sells for 12K. Are you kidding? Okay, well, I didn't realize it was actually that expensive. Holy crap. Okay, so you make some bucket off of that, man. Holy, that was a good haul then. We got freaking 12k off of that run. Literally just off of the hack tool alone. Oh my god. Well, let's go and add. Let's go and add a Glock to our collection. And I think we'll just go and add the other scopes into our collection here. As you guys can tell, we have... We have a lot more stuff than we used to, and this will be explained <laughs> in another video. Um, but yes, we have gotten a ton of items from, like, literally just playing. I have been putting so many hours into Ghost of Tabor. You guys don't even understand. I have been going crazy. And also, not to mention our freaking spoon collection. It is coming along so well. We are up to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 21 spoons as of today. That is freaking nice, poo I am so happy. 21 freaking spoons. 21 freaking spoons. And, dude, I forget how good the sniper scopes actually are, too, because I can sell these for, what, was it like $20,000 or something for one scope? That is going to be unbelievable for some money here. Okay, let's go and throw our other grip, and we'll go and put our mini reflex over here. And I think, for the most part, we should be basically ready to go after we go and throw this on our little pile. And then we just got some other nerds that we can keep, so let's go and throw this on our little stacky poo. Oh my god, we got so much freaking loot today. I am so happy. Perfect. Then I think we should probably go and load this too. Might be a bad idea going and running in with literally an empty bar. I don't think that'll get us too far. And then, did we actually complete our quest too? I guess I haven't checked that yet. Um, we got our kill 25 players quest, which is great. So we'll go and turn that in. And then we got five players without dying, which... Oh, it's because we literally got four kills last round. We had one kill already too. Sweet! That actually worked out really well for this video then. Okay, so let's go and throw on the 25 player quest again, and we will get the 10 players with LMGs maybe? Is there any other missions that we're using that are completely useless? Um, 25 Fenix with SMGs and 5 raids. We'll turn that off for now, and we'll put on the LMG quest as we're working on this, because maybe we could get 10 kills during this video. That would be actually really good. So without further ado, let's go and hop back into another missile silo raid. God, I have just been craving more and more and more Ghost of Tabor, bro. Like, this game, I don't know how to explain it to you guys, but, like, just, it just is so replayable. Like, to see your collection grow, even, like, on or off recording, I freaking love this game, bro. Like, I play this religiously at this point, and it just, it's super fun and enjoyable every time I'm on. Like, granted, of course there are bugs. There's gonna be bugs, and there has been bugs, and they suck, because bugs aren't fun. But sometimes, bugs can be fun. But for the most part... Like, the bugs don't outweigh the actual pros of how good Ghost of Tabor is and how, like, enjoyable for a VR title this seriously is, you know? Like, hey, don't... Hey, 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 I suck so bad. I just wasted five shots on that dude. But yeah, you don't get a game like this very often, man. Like, the replayability factor in this is just incredible. 
Okay, let's see. I'm guessing there's gonna be another guy that comes in. Oh my god. I feel like there might be another player that heard me. Okay, I definitely hear some stuff going on. Sounds like... Oh, squeaky room. Yes. Okay, let's see what we can do. This guy actually knows squeaky strat, so he was actually making that go super quick as he was tapping it. So we're probably running into a decently... A decent player. Let's hope that he doesn't have his, like, friend guarding here. Okay, lots of shots going on. Gonna try to wait this out. And he's dead! Alright. There's another dude in there. Turn that flashlight off. Make sure that it's full. Okay. Take another mag. Put it in. There's so many shots going on down there. I need to check this out. Let's go and see. They actually might be on second floor. Oh, well, I think of it. Let's just try and listen and see if we can hear him. Okay, it sounds like he's loading. He might be on second floor right into that big armory room. But he also might be in tunnels leading right into those stairs. I can't really tell from this angle yet. So I'm going to try to wait out and just see what I hear. Because if I can hear like the little, like the sand sound of him walking, then we know for a fact he's on bottom level. But he's not moving. This man is not moving. Screw it. I'll be the first one to move them. Okay. Sounds like they might be right into... Yep. Second level, it seems like. Second level up top. Okay. I want to say that's AI. No, that is a player. Hello. Good to see you, dude. No way. He got the kill, baby. Good shot, dude. He got me the left hand? That's how I died? That is so embarrassing. <laughs> I literally died to my left hand. Wow. That is one way to go out, I guess. Let's check and see how our other quest did. No! I could have swore we got enough Fennex that time. That is unfortunate. So I think for this, maybe we'll go and do the kill five players and three raids for Minty, since we're already working on this anyway. Or the seven lives one. I don't know. I think we'll do this one. Kill five players in three raids. We'll go and throw that on for now. Um, we got the 10 Fennec, or 15 Fennec with SMGs, which we don't need that either. We got the five players without dying three times. Kill 10 players with LMGs, which that didn't count. Didn't we get one? Or am I tripping? Maybe that weapon doesn't count then. Because I know for a fact we got him. I don't know. That's really weird. Because I know for a fact that was a uh, LMG that we were using. So we'll just go over to Minty Tactical and we'll do the kill 10 players in 7 lives, I think. We might as well just double down on that one. And that should be the quest that we need for the moment. But that sucks so bad, dude. I actually had a good helmet on too. I completely forgot I had that. I should have pushed him a little bit more knowing that I had like more gear. But unfortunately, we just, uh, we didn't play our life too well there. I could have been a lot smarter about like waiting for him to come down to me, knowing that you know, he already saw me and stuff, but there's only so much that you can do, man. Only so much that you can do. Uh, let's go and buy this other chest rig. I'm going to walk out of this room and hopefully I'll be able just to go and select it and grab the mags and throw that on. And also, we will go and grab the other backroom bar because I would love to use you in this next raid, my friend. You would be a great addition to the team. Okay, so let's go and grab the custom chest rig. We got you. Nice. See, it's weird because I almost feel a bit more... Uh, a bit more nervous about doing raids with better gear than I do with really crappy gear. I don't know how that works or why I feel that way, but there's just, maybe it's just gear fear. I think that's what people were referring to it as, is like just having the, you know, the fear of possibly losing your gear and whatever, which makes sense. But it's, it's weird. I almost play better with crap loot than I do with good loot. I just, I don't understand how this works. I don't know why that's such a problem for me, but it is. And I, I just, 
I can't get over it. It's just, it's something that I always mess up on and I don't know if I'll ever get over it, but hopefully one day I'll be able to go and be comfortable enough to not really worry about the gear I'm running and just freaking mow people down. I feel like prior to this video, when I was rocking SMGs, I was getting there, bro. Like rocking the SMGs, I am so comfortable with now. Like literally just like single handing a freaking vector and running my way around the, like the depths of missile silo is one of the most like fun and satisfying things. And plus, it gets your quest done so fast, because I, I can get so many kills running with that vector, man. Like, I am so excited for that video to go live whenever I actually get it, like, finished and edited, because I have been putting so much time into my kills, my level up for vendors, freaking everything, dude. I have just been going ham. Been going hammy ham ham. And let's just hope that we can try to get into some engagements as soon as possible. Okay, that might actually be right on this other side. Let's check it out. I think he might be on bottom level where he went. Yeah, I think that's where that guy was. I see him. There's another guy here, though. I'm going to focus on this before we go and face that other dude. I'm not ready for him. Okay. Okay. Try to wait this out. See if we can maybe find that other guy. I don't think that other dude's going to climb that ladder. I want to go garage again. I really hope that I actually loaded this thing. Because this would be really embarrassing if I jump between engagement and I'm not loaded. Please, dude. Okay, we got a lot of shots going on on the bottom. Don't think he's back there. I got to assume he probably ran garage. Shoot, that just gave away my position. Like, totally gave it away. Yep, it wasn't loaded. Wait, I don't even have a mag in. What? I could have swore I loaded a mag, bro. What is happening right now? That is super embarrassing. Dude, I was literally talking about, like, yeah, man, how embarrassing would it be if I walked in unloaded? Meanwhile, magazine is not even in the gun. What was I thinking, bro? What was I thinking? Okay, I don't see anyone on bottom. I might have... I should have just pushed that dude when I saw him. I really should have. I feel like I could have popped him. There he is. I see him now. Okay, I'm going down. I'm chasing. I'm chasing him. There we go. Got him down. I think he just had a pistol on him. Oh, dude, he only had a Takarov or a Makarov. Unfortunate. Okay. So that other Megan. I just wasted a shell, but that's all right. Okay. I guess we're going to go into the dark depths of the missile silo here. Which is not a good idea, especially using the bar with no flashlight. This is just terrifying, bro. I haven't been in the bottom areas in so long. It's most Ooh. Wait a minute. Who's shooting? Is that above? Gotta assume that's above. Yes, he's on second level. There we go. Three down. Oh, those other guys are gonna try to push. Push it. What? What? I don't know what was going on there. That was really messed up. Okay. Just go and drop the other mag. Grab some other ones. Throw that in. Okay. Let's see. Do I get an extra one? I do. Perfect. Three player kills so far. Really solid. I'm gonna wait for these guys to just waste their ammo. Maybe I can just roll up. I don't know if I got the other guy, but hopefully I did. There we go. Another one down. Thank God for all the Fenix that are pushing, dude. This is awesome. Give me some more action in here. Whoo! Do doom doom. Do do doom doom do doom. I love the sound of the bar, man. It's probably the most like the best part about this entire thing. It's literally just a do do doom doom doom. 
literally feel like I'm in a battlefield trailer every time I shoot this thing. Do -do 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 -do. I am out of ammo. Uh oh. Not good. Do I have another heal? Of course I don't. Why would I have another heal right now? Out of all the times that I actually need it, why would I have another heal? Because that doesn't make sense. Please tell me you have something in your backpack that I can use. Nothing. Wait, but did he have full cards? Wait a second. Oh, you're kidding, bro. Are those real cards? I can't tell. I don't think they are. Okay, I'm gonna try to make my way up the ladder, but I don't know if there's any other enemies on this other side. It's the one thing that kind of scares me. I'm gonna hope to God that there isn't any dudes here. Because if I get shot once, I'm literally dead. Go. Okay, I'm gonna try to climb this ladder and see if I can find some more heals, man. Because we are desperately in need. There shouldn't be any guys here, right? Keyword shouldn't be. Did I literally get shot once? I'm dead, bro. Oh, my arm! What? Okay. Maybe this room wasn't looted yet. And we might be able to get some out of it. I think it's this room, right? Is there any guys in here? Please tell me this wasn't looted. Yes! Oh my god. Thank the lord. Hallelujah. Can I grab this? Okay, so there's a dude in here. I don't know if there's an enemy that's just chilling in here waiting to headshot me. It looks like it was already looted for the most part. Okay, we should be good. Nice! Dude, we literally got... We got a player kill... Where's the, where's the backpack? Dude. Is that what happened? Is that when my thing glitched and I went through the, the ladder? Did my backpack completely fall off with the vault cards? No! Are you kidding? Don't tell me that's gone. I just got so excited. I literally was so excited for that. What? Oh, what? I don't even know if those were vault cards. But I think they were. And now they're in the abyss. Forever. To be gone forever. That is so sad. Okay. Wasn't any enemies over there. God, that is so sad. Like... That is the most sad thing that's happened in Ghost of Tabor in like my lifetime. If, if those were actual vault cards. What? Like how? How did I lose those? How did I choke the bag that bad? <laughs> what? There's no way you actually hit me there. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can just like run this way and hope to God that those guys don't shoot me from the back. I can maybe get heals here. Okay. Awesome, was not looted. Which that means we might be able to go and push these enemies that were giving us a hard time earlier. Is it worth it though? I don't think so. I think I might just go up top. Because this man wants to be a little, you know what? He's just being a big old turd about everything. He shouldn't be able to hit. Don't Keyword shouldn't be. Come on, come over here. Where's the other dude? I just saw him. Where, where'd you go? Dude, I am so weak. I have literally been running off of like the most minimalist health this entire time. Please just let me get all this live. That's all I ask. I'm, I forgot to grab the other backpack. Ah! 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 Why? Why am I so stupid? Well, looks like we're not going in with a backpack because <gasps> we got a school. That's why. We got the skull. We got the skull. We got the skull. I would love to keep you. Bro, I can't get greedy. I, I literally can't. As much as I would love to, I'm just going to take the skull and the gun and go, dude. I, I think this is going to be... It's too meta, bro. I can't leave this skull. I haven't... Dude, I literally have only seen two of these in my entire lifetime of playing Ghost of Tabor. And we can't even eat back here! Oh my god! You want? Know Maybe this gives us the excuse to go and run back and pick up that backpack. But in the same way... How much time we got left? Eh, drop the skull. 
Okay, we still got 20 minutes. We could theoretically go back, grab that bad boy, and, uh, yeah, you know what? I don't see a problem with that. I don't see a problem. As long as we don't get shot at, um, I think we'll be alright. So how do we have for ammo? Okay, two ticks. Do we have any more in our, our backpack that we dropped? Never mind. We Don't you dare. Don't you freaking dare. You come here, Mr. Man. You are with me. Oh, yep. Okay, that's great. Isn't that just phenomenal? Okay, well. This is a three-round burst. Just like the OG M16. I like it. Okay, well. Yeah, I think I'll just make my way out of here. Is this... This is evacable, but these guys are going to be loaded. I'm going to see if I can try to sneak up on these dudes. If I need to, I'll just drop this, grab my bar, and use that when I need it. Oh, this three-arm burst feels nice. Like, really good. Please tell me you're not just camping back here. Okay. Yep, we should be able to evac. Actually, you know what? Before we do anything, let's check and make sure there isn't anything. Okay. I just wanted to make sure there wasn't, like, another vest or something sitting over there. But, dude, we got a skull. We got an M16. Quite a few player kills today rocking the bar. I am really satisfied with how, like, the night's going so far, man. Like, this is good. Usually, I don't have this consistent of commentaries. Like, just hopping in and just mowing down with new stuff, dude. This is great. I am super freaking happy. So, let's go and throw the skull there for a moment. Okay, we'll grab this back. Can you just stay on the shelf? Yes! Look at those guys! They're all lined up! All those beautiful freaking skulls, man. All I can think of when I see that is insta-kill. I don't know why. Like, it's probably just my ADHD brain that's just like, oh yeah, Call of Duty Zombies. Because I already have the bar, and then I see a skull, I instantly assume Call of Duty Zombies. But man, let's go and sell the M16 and the ammunition, because we're not going to use that bad boy. It was pretty decent, though. Like, if you guys want to see a run of me using the M16, maybe, I wouldn't be, like, against the idea. It seems to have, like, a really good, like, a really good punch to it. But other than that, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's going to make it for this episode of Ghost of Tabor. If you did end up enjoying it, would like to see more content made on some more Ghost of Tabor, then be sure to smash that motherfucking thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, so you guys can stay up to date with all the video content we post. And also, on top of that, if if you want to go and use the bar yourselves, be sure to go over to the Tabor market, check out that LMG category, and give this thing a shot, because dude, it certainly does pack a freaking punch when it comes down to kills, dude. Like, it's like a one shot to the head, obviously, and then I think it's like a two tap to uh, chest. So this thing was a monster for freaking mowing some of the AI down, and even players, dude, you guys saw, like, this thing is an absolute beast when it comes down to the actual action. But other than that, guys, that's be it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, keep it toasting, my friends. Laters! I got some shells for you, boy! Oh, it's in his eye! Oh, I fixed it! I wouldn't no. die! Well, right no, here. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Armageddon! Yeah! Why in the heck do you not have clothes? You took my banana, and now you must suffer the consequences! <laughs>